The leading the rear seat of Leo has been a project that's been on our minds for quite a while and we finally got it done. So I'm going to take you inside the back seat or what used to be the back seat and show you what we've actually done. Finished. All finished. This thing is solid. Solid? Oh yeah, I can rock the truck with it. Now the reason we got the crew cab was because we wanted the extra storage in the back seat. And this is how we're utilizing it. So first, let me tell you about what we've built back here. This is an all aluminum structure that we've put in here. This base bolts directly into the bolts we removed from the rear seat, so it's tied directly into the truck. It's nice and solid. We've used 1 8 inch thick aluminum all the way around, and this is kind of a modular system. So this bottom piece sits in the truck. This box we built bolts into that, and then there is a wall along the back side that adds support structure, as well as an additional place where we can add more hooks mount things to it and that as we go along. If we wanted to, we could build another box, put it on the other side, move the box around, or even build up if we wanted to. So it's very modular and gives us options for growing in the future. 
Now, our favorite feature of this whole backseat storage is this box. On the top here, we had some leftover l track and what we did was had it cut so it would fit here and then welded it in the top of the box. So it creates a bit of a lip here so we can keep things like our air compressor, my cordless drill, other stuff, and it doesn't slide off. In the future, what we want to do is put hooks here and kind of strap all of this stuff down. Below that, we have these two crates. On this side, I have all of my tools. On this side, a bunch of random stuff. And in the back on the far left, I keep fluids like oil. Now, what I like about this is I can just grab it, pull it out and access all of my tools. Before I would have to dig around the back seat to find everything I needed. Underneath, I have drills, various tools that I've stuck under here because surprisingly, there's a lot of room under this base. I have my giant torque wrench and just all my tools and things to fix stuff are right here. So that's the passenger side. Let's go around to the driver's side and I'll show you what we've done over there. On the driver's side, we decided to keep things a little bit more simple. All we have here is the platform and it goes back to the back wall of that box. And it's just basically for storing things like crates. We have our hanging closet, shoes, jumper cables, various other tools that have kind of stuffed down underneath here that I don't need to grab all the time. Uh, we have some food stored back here. And then again, along the back side, we have this wall where we can mount things to later, add straps, keep things hooked down. Also, kind of our plan for the future of this is if we ever need to carry an extra spare tire, it will fit back here on this platform and it's a sturdy place where we can strap that down and not worry about it flying all over the place if we get in a wreck or something like that. So that is our whole back seat build. We decided to keep it simple, strong, effective, yet something we can change in the future if we want to. Now, None of this would have been possible without our friend Matt Nelson over at Dragonfly Tarps, who let us use his shop, helped us, taught us both how to weld and a lot of other skills. So Matt, thank you so much for this. It has changed the way we travel. And now that all of our stuff in the truck is organized, I am a much happier person. So thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna see more cool content, Head on over to our website at we'rtherussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye.